Hey guys, it's Tiff back again, and today I wanted to do a flip through on the journal that I've been using for the Monday's videos. And this, as you see, is some type of um, cable comparison guide, and I tore out um, like every other page and I glued it together, and I show you how to do that if you look down there in the description you will see it so today i'm doing a flip through of all of the pages that i've done in the monday's videos so you can go and take a look at each one of the videos i need to really make a playlist of those hmm. i'm thinking out loud if i really had an assistant i would say hey make a note of that however i don't so i'm gonna try to remember or i'm sure you guys could uh remind me you know, hindsight, I'm thinking I will go back and punch a hole right here and make a little tassel to go on the side of that. But that's what happens when you look at things after the fact. And now I'm wishing I made a copy of those people. Ah, oh, hindsight's 2020, they say. So all of these pages, you can see exactly how they came to life right here on this channel. So this was really a fun size. I enjoy working in a size like this and I enjoyed the background being kind of numbers and font. That's me. Silly me. Always doing silly things. This was a really fun page to do. Don't you just love looking back on your, um, your journals that you filled up? And I have filled up quite a few. Man, I'm glad that I have the recipe over here because I'm thinking... Um, I'm thinking about how this can inspire my next pages. So if you have an old um, filled up journal, go back and look at it. You'd be surprised at, um, you know, how it can inspire your next pages. Oh, this is probably my favorite. Uh -huh. I just love this one. This one was fun, and it's fun when I felt like I was stuck, and then I stepped away from this, and I came back, and it just kind of exploded into awesomeness, or at least I think it's pretty cool. This was when I had a splitting headache, and I kind of took it in a literal form and made this page. Like I say, you can go back and watch every single one of the how-to videos on this. These projects. This I used a lot of uh, alcohol inks. And that was fun. I like the energy in this page and kind of... Here I incorporated some hand stitching, which I'm a fan of. Handwriting. Um, I guess now's a good time to say, like, a lot of people ask me, Tiffany, how do you develop your own style? And the only thing I can say is to practice every day and you will find things that continue to show up like certain marks that I make my color influence my scribbly lines uh, some kind of texture element that I love to use like this string here hand stitching um, textural elements so just if you do it a lot you'll find it <laughs> I really, really enjoyed this. I love this right here. I love this burnt. I love it. Makes me happy. That's what it's all about. This was a fun page. I 
love this soft color palette. I think these last two will probably end up in some type of series on either paper or on a canvas because I really, really, really love it. This may be my favorite out of all of them. And like I said, again, go back, watch the videos. Um, if you decide to, uh, you know, use some of the techniques that you learn in my videos, you're inspired by my work. It means a lot if you just subscribe, give me the thumbs up, leave me a comment, do all that stuff. And remember the hashtag is hashtag Tiff made me do it, <laughs> which makes me laugh so hard. <laughs> okay, guys, until next time, toodaloo!